What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life. And Katie. And we are about to go into Pahokee. This uh, town's infamous on the internet for hood videos. Uh, YouTubers from all over the country have come here to make their hood videos. Um, so, pretty much, we're going to do the same thing. I think eventually the people that are from this town, they're going to have to get tired of this crap. if they're proud of it or if it's a hindrance or annoying to, to the town I, I don't really know uh, how the locals deal with the fanfare of, of people wanting to um, to show their town on the internet for whatever reason but we're gonna go deep into these um, deep into this pahoka here and show you guys um, how much what it's like out here we're on the, on the outskirts of Lake Okeechobee. And to be fair, there are some beautiful old Florida cottages along the main roads that are kind of, I would describe them as beautiful, really. Some of them are in rough shape, but nonetheless, they're really nice Florida cottages. Um, you know, Charlie Boo's done videos here, and pretty much all of the hood video makers have done videos in Pahokee. Majestic Royal Palm Trees. Uh, coconut trees, mango trees, all that grows here in South Florida. And there's some nice looking farms on the way on the way into town. I wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of the landscape on the outs outskirts of the town. You know what's the only difference between me and the other YouTubers is that I actually show a little bit of the town with some narration. Most of the other YouTubers, they just drive through. They don't really say anything about the towns because they know if they say the wrong thing, they can get in trouble. But we, we talk, we just, you know. There are some really beautiful um, Florida cottages and stuff like that along the way here. Big coconut trees, mango trees, Cuban royal palm trees. But this area has economically suffered quite a bit. It's isolated from the economy. A lot of businesses won't invest here. Um, it's a region where agriculture is the main source of income. Um, and it's just uh, kind of a neglected area economically. I remember when we used to, we lived on Southwest Florida, we would go to West Palm Beach often. We would always end up driving through Pahokee or uh, Bell Glade. Cluiston, which used to be bad back then, but Cluiston's really came up a long way. Cluiston has pretty much changed a lot for the better. Lots of memories of driving through here. It's a boring drive, so when you got to Cluiston or Bell Glade, you'd always be excited as a little kid, you know. And I remember, you know, I live in Naples where there's not a lot of culture, really. It's just a retirement town. So when we got to Bell Glade or you know, Cluiston, we saw the you know old school donks with the big wheels and stuff like that. It was really exciting for me because I only seen that on music videos and stuff or TV. Hadn't really seen it in person much. Unless I came out here, so every time I drive by, I'd be like stuck to the windows, looking for the old school cars and stuff that I was watching at home on TV. But good memories. But as you can see, it's not all. They only, they only show you the bad parts on YouTube. I want to show you guys. These are some beautiful rural palm trees. Look at these properties here. There's some really nice, look at these beautiful royal palm trees. A lot of the YouTubers, they'll show you the hood stuff, which we'll get to that in a little bit, but look at these majestic royal palm trees. Look at these old Florida cottages, man. Look at these horses right here. You know, there, there's more to Pahokee than just the same old thing. Last time I came to, to Pahokee, I tried to talk to the locals and see if somebody would take an interview, and they are very hostile. They weren't having it. They're actually almost... A little bit more than hostile, it's just they weren't having it. But you can see there's some older houses here, and some newer ones as well, with big yards, big rural palm trees. There are 
see this house right here. Two, three beautiful cars, four beautiful cars in the driveway. So it's not just the poverty you see on um, on YouTube. There, is, there are some beautiful houses out here, and the area is home to football players. Quite a few. I remember a while back I was in, in the Gold Blade at night, and there was a large, you know, get together, thousands of people. We walk around recording video like like nothing. You know, everybody was friendly. You know, so there are great people in these towns who they're not happy about the crime. So you know, for an outsider, you might just drive through and say, "Oh, everybody here is in the crime, or it's a ghetto place, or whatever." But no, that's not the case. There's like every, there's people here who they care about their town, but a lot of times they're just afraid to talk. You know, they're afraid to express whatever you know they're kind of a lot some are living in fear like you know they, they want the best for their community but it's it's not easy dollar general family dollar right next to each other i never got the point of that not, not neither one of those businesses are gonna make any money they're both gonna start probably wouldn't you think so look at this building right here it's beautiful it's got like a is that Stockholm Bay? That's happened like in the 30s. Or like that. Look at these buildings right here. Stuff is pretty right here. Look at these buildings. It's just like a little, it's like stepping back in time, you know? They had a really beautiful theater. Yeah. Wasn't there a hospital here too? There used to be a hospital yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah, there's some hospital somewhere. Yeah. I try so hard. Isn't that a quote from uh, an Akon song? I think so. I do that. Town Center Cafe. Look at this little cafe right here. That's cute. Yeah, they've been fix. I guess they've been fixing up a few things. There's a bank here. Yeah. Bank and. Seems like there's a little bit of gentrification. I wouldn't call it gentrification. I would call it investment. Yeah. This is definitely not gentrification. Okay. It's an investment. Definitely investment. That's a great term. Yeah, they're, they're trying to fix it up, man. You know, like South Florida real estate is getting yeah. expensive. They can't. It's just incredible how these places can can be in this condition for so long. The town, to be fair, has a lot of great architecture. Yeah. It's a shame that it's in this condition. Beautiful architecture. Yeah. It's really a shame the town's in this condition, but. Except EBT. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, so this is kind of like the more hood part right here. This is the stuff you see on the internet right here. Everybody in town noticed us. Yeah. I guess they kind of know at this point, like after so many YouTubers have been through here. Yeah. Hey, be careful though, because it's a one way. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be careful because some of these are one ways and they really don't like it. Once they already see you driving to the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So you saw that teddy bear on the, on the corner? Yeah. That would usually signify that somebody was killed recently. Definitely dangerous out here. No doubt about that. Mm -hmm. Let's get out. 
Club Bug Lane. Mm -hmm. Head east on Booker Place toward Rarden Avenue, then turn right onto South Lake Avenue. Turn right onto South Lake Avenue. Banana trees right there. Let's get on. Continue for ten miles. Super dangerous. The, every, every one of those hangout spots knows what we drove to recording. One day they're gonna have it with people doing this, and they're gonna they're gonna do something about it. Eventually, have, have enough of it. Well, they might like it. Who knows? They might like that notoriety. You just, you just don't know. And you might have somebody go on the internet and say something on your video, but the people that are from here, they might feel proud of that. Who knows? It's just, you just, you just don't know. Coconuts, papaya. In 800 feet, okay. turn right. That's the one thing I miss about living in Florida, man. We can't grow none of that stuff where we're at now.
south on Paget Circle toward Waddell Way. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Florida 15 South. Florida 15 South. Continue on Florida 15 South for nine miles. Look at some beautiful trees here. I love the rural palm trees. Yeah. Manage their water bell correctly. 